Hi, I'm Avery Bang, Executive Director of Bridges to Prosperity. In 2001, we were founded when our founder, Ken France, opened up National Geographic magazine and found this multi-arch bridge built in the 1400s that long ago had broken down. And so the only way to get across this river was a rope. And this National Geographic photo captured that experience. And he said, well, I can help. And so he got on an airplane and within a few months' time had built a bridge. Over a dozen years later, over 100 bridges later, We've worked in 15 countries and we're servicing communities around the world with that same lack of access issue. Imagine a place where you live in a walking world. You walk to the clinic, you're walking to work, you're sending your kids walking to school. And perhaps there's a river. If it swells during the rainy season, you can't send your kids to school. You can't make it to the market. And that's the kind of place where Bridges to Prosperity really thrives is helping people in the walking world from being isolated. Building a bridge is actually much more complex than just buying the materials and spanning a gorge. It actually takes several years and full-time presence on the ground. You don't just show up and say, hey, do you want a bridge? So it's a lot about the other way. Does the community request a bridge? Is this something that they as leaders believe will be the single project that will lift them out of poverty or have the greatest impact? So our staff work with a series of communities through municipalities, through partner organizations, to find the areas of highest need where a bridge really can make an incredible impact for people both in that direct community, but in all of the tributary communities as well. Once a community has been identified, we work with local community leaders to find the best crossing. Is it right here or is it 50 meters downstream or 100 meters in the other direction? and our engineering team comes up with the most locally appropriate and efficient design. We work with community to build that from excavation all the way through tower erection and cables, finishing with decking. So after we finish the actual construction, we have an inauguration party, where oftentimes mayors, even presidential folks, or people from the embassies will come and celebrate the opening of this project. It's so significant. And the life-changing effects of the bridge are so far beyond the day the bridge is opened. We're here to service that community in 10 years, to help the grandchildren of the people that helped build the bridge. And so we see that opening day really as a first day in a very long lifespan of a structure. Bridges don't just build themselves. We need your help. And training people in some of the most isolated areas around the world is incredibly difficult. Volunteer with us, come help us build the bridge. Lend your engineering expertise or your professional services. Spread the word. Tell people about why bridges are so critical. And if we've moved you, please consider contributing to Bridges to Prosperity.